Saw the Ride is not just a roller coaster, it's a fully fledged attraction featuring a highly themed ride experience, queue line, and surrounding area. When it opened back in 2009, Saw the Ride broke the record as the steepest vertical drop on any roller coaster in the world. It was also the world's first horror movie themed roller coaster. And while the roller coaster itself has not aged particularly well, with many people complaining of its rough nature in recent years, I will always have a soft spot for it being a huge horror movie movie fan, and that's why I have decided to build a Kinex recreation of Saw the Ride. <laughs> So the train for this project is going to be really easy. I already had an old Eurofighter design that I could use, but I just needed to change it to look a bit more like Saw the Ride. I really like the look of these types of wheel assemblies. I tried using them on Hyperia and Hyperion uh, for the Front Zero car, so I'm going to try and use them for both of these ones. And if we take a look at Hyperia's train, they move independently, which is really good, and they swivel, which is very important for Saw the Ride. And it also only connects with one screw, and it's very reliable. So as you can see, I've got the two screw holes on the bottom. The wheels won't be this close together. These are actually the front car and the back car, just because this is where the connection point to attach the car is going to be. So this is going to be flipped. So these wheels are actually going to be a little bit further apart. So yeah, a really easy print for this project for once. I've got the main seats already going. These little decorative bars, which obviously go on the front like the handrails, will be very easy to print. I think they'll only take like a couple hours at max. Then one final change I've made, uh, you may notice the wheel assemblies. The axle that runs all the way through the wheel assemblies here is a little bit lower down. It used to be up here, but it's now a little bit lower down. It's just gonna make the wheels, you know, a little bit more reliable, uh, a little bit better center of gravity. And it also keeps the train a bit closer to the track as well and that's of course the last print that I have to do just four of each of these for the four wheel assemblies and something that's going to make this project so much easier than Hyperia is I already have black cross ties when Kinex was sending me the white and gold tubing they also sent me black tubing that was obviously for Hyperion and I have loads of it left over so I'll use it for Saw the Ride Just finished printing off the new wheel assemblies for the new Saw the Ride train. Gotta say this PLA prints really cleanly. They work the exact way, the exact same way that the Hyperia train wheel assemblies work, but they're just slightly edited. As you can tell, the new ones are a lot shorter. So hopefully this should um, improve how smooth they run. So I haven't even finished taking apart the rest of Hyperia yet, but I really want to test out the new train for Saw the Ride recreation. Okay, so I think I've got it working. I've got a little tab there on the chain. And uh, if we pull the chain, it doesn't go straight away until the tab hits and then it continues up. That's exactly what we want to happen. Alrighty, so I've just got the brake run just before it turns into the bottom of the lift done. And I tried to make it quite tight, the corner, just to see and test out these new bearing assemblies and they have absolutely like no resistance going around that corner that is super smooth what the assemblies do I mean you can see it there they twist and it just works perfectly around the corner and it still moves forward even from a dead stop wow I mean I can drop it from here and it still does it so what I might even do is lower this down even more <laughs> I've lowered it down so low. Look how low that is. There's barely any pull on that. If I give it the slightest push. <laughs> Obviously that's gonna be coming in with a little bit of speed from the underneath section, but. <laughs> He's done it. It needs hardly any speed. So I've managed to go on to this site. It's uh, Attraction Source. It's basically, I think, either one person or a group of people. Over the years, they've taken loads of pictures of construction at Thorpe Park, and one of them is Saw the Ride. I believe this is a view from the top of Colossus, where they've sort of zoomed in with a DSLR and taken loads of pictures. And from here, you can quite easily tell what's going on. This concrete footer that hasn't been poured yet at the time of taking the picture, this is for the base of the lift. This underground section where it dips in to this sort of dugout section, that's the bottom of the indoor drop, which means that this bit along here, the upper section would be the station and the lower section is obviously that sort of inline twist that comes out. And of course, 
this sort of construction photo actually really helps me get the right angles. Oh, look how much work we've got done. It's not even been a week since I finished the Hyperia recreation. I mean, I still have bits of it up over there. And I've already got the whole indoor section, except for the station, done. And this is the only teaser test you're going to get, but it has just enough speed to get around. Plenty of speed. Easy peasy. But that's the last one you're going to see now till the end of the build. So I've got the final turn into the brakes done. I've done this little bridge thing here. So this underneath section is nice and clear. So it can go up into that mid-course brake. So I'm, today I'm going to try and work on getting the dive loop done. There we go. Smashing out some good work today. Got the brake run done. Got the final turn into the brake. Got the dive loop. Got the mid-course brake done. So all that's left to do now. That back turn. Giant airtime hill. Another big turnaround behind this dive loop and then of course the main Immelman and lift and drop so not not too much left to do so i've been a little bit ill this weekend so i haven't got too much done but what i did do was finish off the main big airtime hill and then now all i've got to do is the final bank the Immelman, and then the first drop so there it is over there the airtime hill i've all, uh, taken the turn into the mid course break off as well yeah it's uh, stacked up there on top of the indoor section which is stacked up sideways just to save some space so I can build the rest. Got just enough space here now to do the big turn around here uh, which is then going to come down here just in front of this section here and then of course that's going to go into the big Immelman just here. There's just enough space for it as well. So close to finishing this project now. I've literally just built the top of the Immelman and now I just need to build the bottom of the drop and then the little crest piece and then it's done and after a few hours of taking it outside and filming here is the results